Hello viewer, my name is Tabitha Gunjiri. I'm going to take you through a process of making the stain remover. When I talk about the stain remover, is whereby you have like your sink having some stains, your toilet having some stains. You can be able to remove those stains using the chemical that I'm going to show you. Now, before using any chemical, you have to have your right gear on. For instance, you have the mouth mask because some of the chemicals are corrosive. You can also have your gloves on when some of these chemicals spill on you, they can cause harm. Some of them can even burn you. So you must have the right gear on. And of course, you must make sure that you don't put on closed shoes. Put on closed shoes, not the open shoes because at times an accident can occur and uh, some of them can spill on you. So if you have the open shoes, then the chemical will get right into your body, which is uh, not good. So I'm going to make the stain remover. First of all, now that I have my right gear on, I measure the water. We have the water here. I'm going to use water. HCL, uh, Ungaro, half salt. I have the perfume and the color. Now, first of all, I'm going to dissolve water, uh, dissolve Ungaro into water. Therefore, I measure water first. That is five liter for one. Now I dissolve Ungaro in water. This one makes the foam. Then you can use a wooden stick to stir. Make sure all the ungaro has dissolved before you put all other ingredients. Now you stir, continue stirring until you don't find the particles of Ungaro.
Now our ungero has dissolved. It has dissolved. Then you put the HCl as you star. So you pour just little by little as you stir. It has a very, very strong smell. That is why you have to have your mouth mask on. After putting the HCl, then it will be like a jelly-like. It does not drip like water. It has formed something like a gel. Then because of the that smell, that smell, then you have to put in the perfume. Then you put the perfume. Just little by little as you stir. Now, our mixture will look like this, it will run like this. Then you put the color. And stuff. So you continue putting the color just little by little as you stir. And lastly, you put the salt. This is the industrial salt. So you put salt 
little by little as you start. So you continue putting salt little by little. And then stir. Now you stir until you don't feel the salt particles. Your stain remover will look like this as the end product. But now we are not going to use it until tomorrow. We leave it for the reaction to take place. So we shall cover it. Then we pack tomorrow. It will be ready for use tomorrow. Now, this stain remover, you can remove stains from the sink, basin, from the toilet, tiles, and uh, it works magic. Thank you very much, viewer, for watching.